what to exaggerate when drawing animals focus on the first features that come to mind when thinking of each particular species of course if i were to blurt out the word alligator and you were my wife <laughs> you would blurt back go see ha- hand bag so the experiment doesn't always work however if you are thinking more along cartooning lines you would probably think of an alligator's long toothy snout extended tail and small limbs those features alone would be enough to produce a funny alligator the cartoon wolf the anatomy on this wolf is all wrong but so what the distinguished features that we recognize as being wolf like are all there muzzle sharp teeth pointy ears and bushy tail yeah uh, jenny rabbits yeah we are going to talk about jenny rabbits a rabbit wouldn't be a rabbit without its cotton tail huge ears buck teeth floppy feet and some uh, whiskers all readers expect to see these things uh, on rabbits so uh, make everybody happy and include them then once you use those uh, undeniable rabbit like uh, qualities you will be free to experiment with the rest of the creature creature and it will still read as a rabbit no matter how outlandishly you design it a few pointers for drawing birds uh, so next we are going to talk about the birds the most important thing to remember about designing a bird's body is that the torso doesn't stand upright uh, with the exception of a penguin it tilts forward at a 45 degree angle small birds such as Uh, blue birds and uh, robins have no necks at least for cartooning purpose just stick the head directly on the body large larger birds such as ducks geese and turkeys have long uh, thin necks like the one here you can see okay so turning animal anatomy into the cartoon anatomy with animals the personality of a character should uh, decade the types of anatomy you choose if you want to invent a funny wise uh, guy tiger don't draw the animal on all fours it will look like a predator instead stand the character upright with human posture so that it will appear less uh, threatening before examining the different uh, postures however let's talk uh, let's take a look at some basic animal anatomy basic animal joint configuration i find it fascinating to look beneath the fl- uh, fur and muscles of an animal to see its skeleton although you have got to do it pretty quickly because the animal screams like hell Uh, as a cartoonist you are going to draw plenty of animals count on it you have got to know the actual anatomical construction of an animal in order to exaggerate it it's easy to spot the work of a cartoonist who doesn't uh, have a basic understanding of animal anatomy the drawings lack conviction the artist is uh, groping and the work looks amateurish There is also the possibility that at some point you will need to draw a realistic looking animal or at least one that walk like a real animal. In that case you would be better have an understanding of joint configuration. In in the diagram above I have labeled all the major anatomical components in basic terms that correspond to human anatomy. In several places I have simplified things making two bones into one since the double bones are side by side anyway and would only complicate the illustration this basic skeleton is primarily the same for dogs cats lions and horses thank you bye